Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Apement with brand new content from Polish Power Rifle University. It's going to be my uh, replay cast, and the rules are simple. I'm not going to pause anything in this game, and I'm going to basically cast my own replay. And why I chose this game? We are playing versus Night Elf. 1900 MMR Night Elf then knows me. And I I have a trouble pushing him, this particular night of. So I decided to go into late game, which is very rare for me, which is very rare for power rifle players in general. But the <laughs> primal power rifle player, Mr. Forzane, he liked to go tier 3 and add um, some gryphons to the mix. <laughs> Sadly, in this game, there will be no gryphons. And I'm not saying that the, what I, I'm doing here is optimal in the late game, because I'm still uh, learning how to play late game versus night elf, but this game was very close, and I love it, ladies and gentlemen. So, a reminder, versus night elf, we are opening with two rifle stack, and the plan is simple. We are going to trap the melee unit, orc warrior, between altar, trees, Aladdin and Rifleman, but uh, I have been doing some trick with creeping the second camp really fast if Demon Hunter is not coming immediately, because it's like the last opportunity for me to creep a big camp. So my opponent, of course, knows that I'm going Pali Rifle. We are going to make only two farms. We have now a lot of time to kill. So remember to spread your peasants on trees to avoid like uh, blocks because like for some reason peasants can be blocked uh, during the, the, the lumber harvesting. So be careful with that. And let's see if I'm going to pull the orc warrior correctly. So with the first rifleman, of course, we are going close to the camp and we are going to attack the big monster or warrior level 3 once and then we are running back and of course remember to not uh, take aggro on paladin until we trap the orc warrior it is done and a little bit uh, advanced trick second rifleman should go to the second camp that we are going to creep because as you can see, we need to be extremely fast. And as I said, if Nidalf is harassing immediately, we cannot do it. But for some reason, he decided to not harass me immediately. As you can see, tier 2 is already constructing. We were power building the third farm. And now we are using Militia and Paladin to creep this camp. And of course, take the item. Because if, if the Demon Hunter comes, we are in trouble. And he's late! As we can see, level 2, and because I still have Militia, I decided to apply some damage on him. We see the miss, so we know that he went Mana Burn uh, Evasion. And now is a little bit of a waiting game. I think I should go faster here and uh, spend your mana, because you don't want to be Mana Burned. And we creep jacked him. Of course, we cannot kill Demon Hunter, we cannot kill the Archer, but we can apply some damage on paladin and we should uh, on, on demon hunter and we should try to last hit and of course i failed with the last hit but nevertheless this early game is quite good we have third rifleman we are skipping arcane tower we are going for plus one uh, why we are skipping arcane tower because we know that he's not going for immolation we know that he's not creeping level three really fast so we are not expecting any any uh, harass I pulled two militia to, to speed up creeping and to be like extra careful if he like is deciding to, to, to harass me again. But uh, so far so good, he's not coming. And I will get the item. And this item is actually important because with Wand of Illusion I can creep really, really efficiently. So, and what is important, I added lumber mill, because look how close this lumber mill is to the trees. It will give me more wood, and I added this lumber mill because I, I am thinking about going late game versus night elf uh, already, so I won't just leave if my push is not going to be uh, like uh, successful, tier 2 push. 
with Blood Mage. And look, this illusion is fresh. Even though it has very low HP, we can use it for scouting information. So I really like that this illusion is on the way. And we got level 3. Level 3 is important. And actually, I decided to do... Because on this map, there are many different ways we can uh, approach Nidalf base. So I basically de decided to go for lores, because I'm expecting Nidalf to build uh, lores right now. And to my surprise, this is something new. I see that my opponent is actually expanding. So I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit surprised, because he's not doing it often. So, uh, But my tier 2 is already done. And let's see how much damage... I can do in his base. And remember, there is no like killing timing. We forced a TP that's really good. And look, we are immediately going back. And we managed to escape. That was a good micro move. Not really hard move. Because we are... Uh, we just run uh, back. But look, we managed to basically force TP. We have in all information we want, basically. Our Blood Mage is here. I use the big mana potion, so this is an important fight. And 1900 MMR Nidalf still mana burned my uh, illusion, which is great. And now I have decision. Should I push him with just rifles? Should I add uh, casters, you know, and try to push him with casters? But I decided maybe it's a good idea to go for the... Uh, for the late game, if I'm not able to, if I'm not able to push this expansion, and what is also interesting, <laughs> I paused the game. I should not pause. I decided to buy Want of Illusion because I saw that he has problems with identifying correct, uh, correct paladin. So I bought a Want of Illusion, and look, another mana burn <laughs> tanked by Want of Illusion, and we have easy siphon mana. So yes, now I'm still thinking, I'm still deciding between uh, pushing him, and I bought, by the way, portion of great and healing. So I invested a lot into items that I can use immediately, and because my goal is simple to kill this expansion, but we have 400 wood, so maybe I will decide to go tier three soon, because it's also, uh, also an uh, important thing to do if we are going to do, to go to the late game. And also what I see that he's going for a lot of archers, <laughs> no pa pausing. And he has one attack upgrade on archer. Aha! Nidovs are trying this mass archer style recently. And doing this ally in tier 2 push versus mass and archers is kind of bad. So I, I'm basically... My, my plan is to add some knights, okay? And as you can see, tier 3 is on the way, because knights are really good versus mass archers. Knights deal uh, additional damage to archers, knights are scaling very good versus archers, so I will basically sit on 50 food, I will try to kill his expansion, and as you can see, he gave up, because he knew that in the past I was playing very, very aggressively, so he's not expecting me, actually, to go for tier 3. And because I'm going for tier 3, I have a little bit less army than I should at this point. Of course, we go, even though he goes for mass archers, we need banish, and <laughs> we manage to creep jack him. But remember, I'm going for tier 3, so I don't, I, I don't need to win this fight. And, ladies and gentlemen, micro mistakes will happen now. First mistake, I think I should not mana drain him, and now I should just TP out immediately, in my opinion, because he has invul, he has healing, and now I'm not trading really efficiently. So I really don't like that I'm fighting here, and as I said, I should TP out. So basically, even though I creep jacked him, I could prevent him from killing two of my rifles. And my tech is not super early, so I'm actually a little bit angry that I didn't... Uh, that I didn't uh, tag faster. So basically, it's a new approach how to handle mass mass archers from Nidev, and he got lucky with the aura. So let's see. And ladies and gentlemen, this game will be closed because in this moment I will do terrible mistake. 
My paladin has potion of great and healing, but for some reason I decided to tank paladin, uh, to tank a lot with paladin, and even look, this fight looks pretty well, but my paladin doesn't need mana, and now I cannot save paladin with banish, and because of this poor paladin movement, I will lose my paladin. This game is disaster. This is disaster, ladies and gentlemen. I normally I would just leave this game, but you know what? We are taking tier three. <laughs> we have some uh, past with this opponent, and I don't know why he's not fighting. Maybe he's afraid to lose Demon Hunter. Maybe he knows that I'm bad at late game. But man, late, late game is coming and the first night is under production, so you can say in the comments, so he could just go back and kill you. Yes, maybe it's true, but he didn't. Also, I, I had militia, so I would survive, but his mistake, okay, his mistake, and of course my mistake was to lose Paladin. That was terrible, so remember to not play like me, basically. What is also funny is that because of this lumber mill position and just going tier 3, Look how much wood I have accumulated. So I'm thinking about making a, a second expansion, uh, about expansion soon, but I don't have enough uh, units to go for expansion. And actually my plan is simple. I'm going for double knights and I'm going to add MK. MK is a really good hero, like bold siphon mana. It's a really good combination and this game looks bad, isn't it? But because I'm not giving up, because my opponent can make mistakes I, as well, I will try to stay in this game and win. And I'm going for Siphon Mana level 2. The, the new Sack will be level 2, as you can see. So our Blood Mage is at full mana now. We have the first Knight. And I'm even breaking Supply, because I want to have my, my MK and two Knights. Paladin is joining the party, and this is Nidalf. Nidalf is here, but now I have two knights, and it's a big difference. And because I have staff, but still, I don't have MK, I don't want to fight with him yet. I want to be able to spend my wood at some point. So basically now I should swap the staff to give staff to the Paladin. And he wants to fight, so it's a good opportunity to bring all of the militia, because I have 800 wood. I don't like this wood. I don't need this wood. And now, first staff. Very good. The longer game goes, the better value you get from staff. So, uh, yes, this is very important. So, this knight should go to safety. But I managed to holy light him in time. That's good. And ladies and gentlemen, Demon Hunter dies immediately when MK's, uh, MK leaves uh, the, uh, the altar. <laughs> so MK wasn't that bad, and now in banished form he got double damage. But what is more important, I'm going to kill this bear quite fast. Good value for me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the game is even, in my opinion. I have good hero levels. I have a lot of wood. Okay, he's back. No problem. Now we pull back ourselves. We are going to heal in safety. We are going to make more knights. We can already start upgrading knights. Don't forget to bring your uh, your knight from the safety of like a healing. I have a lot of mana. Demon Hunter is out of mana. And Siphon mana on level 3 is really, really good. So like I will keep his units without mana. And even though he has 2-0 upgrade archers, knights will will slowly but surely destroy them and now i can just heal very efficiently i have staff so i should be safe and look ladies and gentlemen i'm fighting but it's a good opportunity to start making expansion and of course i know i'm at 51 foot this is terrible i should not be on 51 foot i should invest maybe in second staff i should kill one of my militia basically but it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen, because now I need items, I need upgrades, I need maybe second barrack, maybe I need Gryphon Aviary. Spoiler, I won't add Gryphons, I will add Breakers, and I think Gryphons would be much better. But yes, so basically my I decided to not creep, even if I could creep, because I want him busy, I want him in his base. 
I want him out of position. I want to be able to construct my expansion. And another mistake by him, he has a uh, Ancient of Lore in a weird position. So knights are very good are are dealing damage to buildings. So I'm basically going to kill his both lords and look how good uh, Siphon Mana plus uh, Bolt are to basically keep uh, Demon Hunter in one spot. And I even feel good enough to go for armor. Uh, for armor aura and our knights have 11 armor. And I'm still at 51 foot, so probably I lost, I don't know how much, <laughs> 3 minutes. Uh, so it's like 600 gold, maybe, I lost because of having one too many peasants. And now, I don't know if neither has expansion or not, but we have expansion. So I'm basically saying, okay, let's kite like lemmas, okay? Oh so yeah, I stuffed Blood Mage because why not? And now we are just running, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I let him creep one cup. I'm not proud of it, but it is what it is. I was a little bit excited that I have my expansion. <laughs> so probably that's why. And as you can see, I'm adding Arcane Sanctum for breakers. Because I thought, okay, breakers have the same upgrades as rifles, you know. But I think I should just add uh, Gryphon Aviary. Who cares about the Riju? Give you like single target kill. Building so now now I'm a little bit undecided undecided because yes uh, my blood mage is not there and I'm getting value from my uh, breakers from my uh, from my expansion but now I'm going into full late game because I have double staff of sanctuary okay I was expecting neither of to expand uh, to creep the red camp let's see if he's doing it and in the worst case i'm just going to tp immediately okay this is a demon hunter i don't know if it's an illusion or the real one <laughs> i still cannot tell okay this looks like illusion but i think we can appreciate it that I, I i was able to surround him he knows where i am and i'm going to creep i probably should pull back paladin so uh and blood mate actually no we need mana so i should just pull back paladin because we really, really, really need... Uh, like, MK level 3 is very, very strong, and Paladin level 5 is a dream. It's very, very far away. So now I have decision, do, do I go across the map, or do I go to his base to kill some buildings? I decided to go to his base to kill some buildings. I have TP. I could use the shop, to be honest. That's my bad, because... The Cloak of Flames is terrible, it's better to exchange it for, for example, a uh, Scroll of Healing. Invul on Paladin would be sweet, but my entire army is coming to his base, and I'm going to kill his lords again, because why not? This Rifleman is a little bit lost, because I stuffed him and he remembers the last uh, unit, and again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm practicing. I'm going to kite. I'm not going to, like, commit. I'm going to practice. And are those breakers really that beneficial? Like, imagine this breaker being a Gryphon. Like, safely attacking bears. And now I'm trying to stuff. I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to suck entire mana of the Nidalf, and basically I'm going to try to fight really, really efficiently. I know that he has uh, he has uh, Riju, but I can... <laughs> and I will... I was looking Demon Hunter, I wanted to kill Demon Hunter! But another huge mistake by Soul Ape Man, I lost my Paladin! This is crazy. This is terrible. And now I'm sacrificing a knight to buy me some time. And I'm saying uh, to myself, at last, soul, what are you doing? You should trade efficiently. And I wanted to stuff my MK, but that was too late. This is a disaster, ladies and gentlemen. This game is going so back and forth. This game is so close. Look how much value I'm getting from the staff of Sanctuary. Beautiful. <laughs> I still have a TP on my Paladin, uh, but 
We killed a lot of bears, neither the less. Of course, this mistake was huge and I have one AFK rifleman, I have one AFK knight. This is not good. Okay, my opponent knows that I have an expo, so I need to react. We are waiting for the MK, so uh, I hope next time I will go into late game. I will have one, two Gryphons and I won't lose and my MK and my Paladin like that. <laughs> Do you remember? I lost Paladin twice in this game, both with TP. So uh, definitely I can improve those things. But my army is together. I don't have enough lumber, sadly. I know where his uh, army is, so I'm going to check the red camp. As you can see, we have two breakers, but as I said, I'm not really proud of those breakers. And as we can see, he ju he's just finishing the expansion, so it's a perfect time. And look, mistake, I should buy stuff and maybe even Orb of Fire to make his healing less efficient. He is counter-attacking my expansion, but I'm already here. Stuff, uh, I mean Bolt on Demon Hunter immediately. So uh, he was stopped a little bit. 43 mana, mana burn is not a problem. And our expansion survived and his expansion is dead. Ladies and gentlemen, and what is really rare for me, we are almost 80 foot, ladies and gentlemen. Soul Ape Man being at 80 foot is like an anomaly. So because I'm close to 80, now it's a good moment for me to go to the shop and to buy some heal scrolls, to buy a TP, to sell the cloak. And let's see. I Okay, I know where his army is. He managed to buy the potion of invul, the invul portion. But we, we bought a scroll, we bought a second scroll, so we have 80 foot, ladies and gentlemen, with two, two upgrades, two one upgrades on rifles, by the way. And we are ready to fight. We are expecting him not having any expansion. We can trade, we can use stuff, we can TP back and you use the, the scroll of like regeneration from human shop. So there is no problem. And again, I'm just killing the building. Look at those beautiful 15 armor knights. 15 armor knights. Is it, isn't it beautiful now stuff? And for me, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard for me to kite in these big fights. We have Riju on knight. <laughs> this is beautiful. Another stuff. Look how efficiently I'm fighting, even though Soul Ape Man is not the best player. So I really, really like that we are fighting here. I'm, I have a lot of man on my paladin, and I think I went for Bash, level two, because like uh, this, this, this MK will be uh, short on mana for a long time, and now it looks really good for us. We almost, we basically lost nothing. Knights are regenerating. Imagine having one more staff on on the MK. No mana on Demon Hunter, it feels really bad for him to have no mana. I have two AFK rifles. Now he's going to dispel some stuff, it's too late in my opinion. And this game is in our pocket, ladies and gentlemen. I was trying to kill the Demon Hunter, not that easy, and missing this one stuff really, really hurts me because like my knights are slowly dying, but we are going to kill, or maybe not, so close, but no cigar. And I decided to go back, but he probably knows that he's defeated because he has no more units and he has no expansion. His base is mined out and he feels like that I have too much and I really have too much because I have uh, 700 gold and 50 food left and he healing from humans shop is efficient. So ladies and gentlemen, Palarifu is amazing late game. You can have 15 and 17 armor knights. And imagine some Gryphons on top of that. So playing versus Knight of Late Game can be interesting. So don't only tier to push Alin. Leave yourself uh, doors open for the late game. And enjoy Pala Rifle as we do in Polish Pala Rifle University. It was Sol Apeman. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.